Hello YouTube viewers welcome to my show Rocket Monday In today's episode we're going to take a look at JAXA So JAXA stands for Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and it was created on 1 October 2003 Now to be fair Japanese space industry is not that young it was created by merger of three sub companies and uh, companies as in government organization and they are listed here NAL ISAS there were many companies so they were combined to create a more streamlined and smooth you know production and management of the space assets and uh, you have to understand japanese uh, company jaxa basically do not rely solely on their own resources many times they take help of private companies and mitsubishi is a mitsubishi heavy industry is a very key component to that so their capabilities are uh, very kind of limited because they have very small budget 2 billion dollar it's more or less same as isro and they have mid size launch capabilities so basically below falcon 9 and uh, they can send up to 16.5 tons and 8 uh, 16.5 to the low earth orbit and 8 ton to geostationary as of now their uh, rockets are classified with h they have h2 h2a h2b they are working on h3 which will increase their capacity so the reason why japanese agency has uh, so much respect is uh, because they are very good at astronomy program like as you can see they uh, they already launched you know x rays astronomy scanners infrared scanners solar observation uh, in this year itself they're going to launch a probe that is specifically targeted to observe co2 emission and glo global house global warming effect so suffice to say they put lot of emphasis on astronomy it's just not satellites communication and all that so they do put lot of emphasis on astronomy which has to be commended and they did a very big contribution to iss international space station so kibo there is a module iss was built by attaching multiple module in low earth orbit and kibo is one of the largest module there is which was built by japan and uh, it wasn't launched by japan uh, they sent it to nasa and nasa sent it using their shuttle programs and jaxa will contribute roughly 10 billion dollar over the total iss project and not to mention they also have a launch vehicle uh, this cannot return so you can't pack people in to it so all it can do is go up and resupply iss so suffice to say they have quite a successful contribution to iss and as a result of that uh they have human space program now while they do not have any uh, launcher that can launch their own humans while uh, but they do have astronaut and the first astronaut this guy he was a journalist and uh, the milestone that was achieved using him is quite significant and as you can see this was the mir space station and he became the first privately funded individual to go uh, on an international space station that time calling it international is uh, kind of mispronounced that time only usa and russia was going there so they it, it opened the door to commercialization so there and japan already has 10 astronauts that's a very big deal so they can send uh, their astronaut using space shuttle at the time uh, space shuttle was active right now the japanese astronaut go to iss using russian capsules and uh, the part you have to remember is that to see whether they, uh, which country they are representing see the badge here so if somebody says india have astronauts that's not true uh, simply because our astronauts don't go under isro they go under uh, nasa and they do not represent india they represent the country they went from so uh, generally usa so you can pay attention to their flag and sometimes you may find dual flag and that would be in his flight suit that is generally to represent which uh, launch system they are using so be mindful of this and this is the reason why japan is like slowly but surely progressing so we have to keep an eye on them so they might uh, unveil a lot of surprises in upcoming years so this was my presentation i hope you guys liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't dislike and leave a comment please subscribe i make video every day and as always thanks for watching